Now, actually maneuver around and work in the Tinkercad window, I'm just going to show you a couple things to get you started here. First off, this is the Tinkercad working window. To go back to my documents, I can click on the Tinkercad logo. If I actually wanted to edit the properties or things of this, so for example, I can click on the name and I can rename it. I could say my design rather than the default name. This blue checkered is called the work plane. It's kind of like the tabletop that we work on. On the left here, you have the view cube, which you can click and orbit around to change your view. You can also click on a specific side and the software will kind of automatically center you on that side. The zoom in and out buttons are on the side. You can also click the fit button to actually kind of center your screen here. And down in the bottom right corner next to the work plane are the grid functions. So if I were to click edit grid, I can actually change myself from working in millimeters to inches. Um, I can change the grid size. So a typical size to work with is six by six for 3D printing and I can click update and now this blue box is the actual size of a 3D print bed. And I can actually change the snap functions, meaning that if I were to drag a box or something, what does it snap to? So right now it snaps to an eighth of an inch, rather than I can say snap to a half of an inch. Now every time I drag it, it jumps a half of an inch. Or I can say off, and then the objects just kind of float freely across the page. Now over here are your menus. So the ruler, if I were to drag this out, will actually show the dimensions of an object. The basic shapes can be used to actually go ahead and create your models, and I'll demonstrate this more in a later video. If I were to click on basic shapes, I'll be faced with the different categories, such as text, connectors, things like that. And you can actually save items to your favorites. Once you actually want to actually start building, you can go ahead and just start dragging shapes in and make your first model.